Hey guys, this is Orson from OK Productions here with another mock. This mock will be the scene for many animations to come. The mock itself I call Battle or Siege of Dantooine. Um, let's start with the battlefield. Um, closer to you, we have you guys. We have a probe droid, got my custom-made probe droid, and some stormtroopers along here. And then we have a trench full of rebels, a dead tree. And moving over, we have the river. I have beach along both sides, and I am. There's two Velociraptors, the one closer to you, closest to you guys is drinking water from the stream. The other one is catching a fish. I actually put a fish in there. I have Velociraptors because in Empire Strikes Back they have Tauntauns. And Velociraptors remind me of hairless Tauntauns. Fur, anyway. Um, a little bit to my right, your left, I think. Yeah, your left. I have a little beach, big custom tree, and a hobbit hole, which I built into the tree. Coming down this way, we got three shadow troopers making a way across, and they are confronted by this turret, which is conveniently manned. And then following along the rock ridge this way, we have a bit of built up terrain, which took me a while to do. And then over here, it's a more built up terrain. This one is, which is pretty much part most of the battlefield. It's, I just used plates or tile, I think they're plates. And I just came up here. And in the trench, we have a resistance trooper, a Wookiee, a dead guy, mechanic, pilot, and rebel sniper. Mainly because that's. And which fits in because they're under siege, so they would be stressed for resources. So on your guys' right, at about this time, we have the armory. It's and there's a droid over here. He is trying to cut his way through the wall because the wall has collapsed in over the entrance. So he's trying to cut his way through. There is several guns in there, as well as the droid. You can also see a window, which is the back side of this thing over here. On the other side of that cave in wall, we have more cave-in stuff with pipe and support struts of some kind that fell off a wall somewhere or ceiling. Moving farther down, we in that room we have the hollow table with a rebel pilot and a droid. Rebel pilots in command because he would be would have been the captain of the fighter squadron, which is prob and he, in other words, he'd be the highest ranking soldier left in the base. Then over here, in this corner, we have a bunch of crates. I have four there, three no three there, and then we have a door here. The door opens and closes and fits mini figs. Over here we have a fan the phantom set. And it's just the smallest ship I could find that would fit in there and fit in. And it's hooked up to a fueling station over here. I think that's where it is. And these guys are my custom space troopers. And they're the rebel troopers for space. There is four of them. One's a girl. The other two, two three are, are ma the other three are male. Two of them are my Viper pilots from my custom Vipers. Again, this is Mosk and Otis thing. There's like, thing. The door's open. I'm not going to do a review. Um, these are actually the wing panels off of my TIE fighter. And I just set them up in this way. I don't think it's, they're le it's this style is legal by Lego standards, but, meh. And then moving back down this way, we got the top of the rock wall, 
over here. And here's Chewbacca commanding a little turret. So cute. This is a fence I built up over here using plates and these old pieces here. Over here is my custom cannon. There's actually sh there's actually a shell inside, or shell or whatever you want to call it. It's uh, where the missiles are stored. That it's actually where they put the ammo. Anyway, so that should be it. Um, oh, one more thing to point out. There are little pieces on the holographic table besides the big planet. There are three red ones indicating star destroyers and an orange one indicating a rebel's starship that has snuck in or is sneaking in, in progress. Okay guys, this is probably one of my favorite mocks. It took me a while to build. About a month or two, probably two months. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, there will be several animations on this thing. Just remember, this came first. Bye.